Good morning. Uh, listen, um, I had to get up early this morning to take care of a particular task, a personal thing, uh, before the day really got rolling and realized pretty quickly that this might be a little tedious. Uh, not so tedious that it's uh, going to ruin my day or anything like that, but it did give me the uh, a thought that um, this is a good excuse to use a tool that I've been tinkering around with the past few days to automate things on the computer and then by extension, I thought, hey, this is an even better opportunity to be able to demo this, uh, show you what uh, this tool can do. Again, simple, uh, simple example, but um, really exposes what the potential is for very uh, for this tool. This is a very early version. Um, the tool that I'm talking about here is is called Open Interpreter. Um, you may have heard it if you are following the AI space. It's uh, something that came out recently and it's been getting a lot of buzz. Um, and, uh, and so I'm going to show you kind of how that works in, in some sense. And, um, and let me quickly just give you a little backstory about what we're going to be doing here. Uh, so uh, my siblings and I are helping my dad get through a bit of a rough patch and uh, helping him pay a bunch of bills. Um, I'm the only sibling that's local, so I've taken a whole bunch of pictures of, um, of his bills, and uh, so you can see that here. I've got a whole bunch of pictures. Here's the bills. <laughs> um, and I need to get these over to my sister, who's out of town, who's the one who's actually managing the, the whole pain process thing, right? So uh, my task is to get her these, these bills. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just going to airdrop these over to my computer. Let me just switch over so you can see what's going on here. And airdrop these over. And here we go. Airdrop received. Um, receiving. Let's go. Okay, so here we are. So the first thing I noticed was that these came across as these HEIC files, which is uh, an Apple well, it's not how all the uh, photos on uh, iPhones are saved this way. Um, I've also noticed that um, these lowercase ones are the a handful of them that um, I had to rotate before sending them over. So apparently uh, it doesn't quite save the file extension the same <laughs> as it does naturally, right? So you have some lowercase things. Uh, these HEIC files ha in the past uh, have caused me some consternation when I try to bring them into other tools but that don't support this. Um, my sister is on Android, uh, Chromebook, Windows, and I don't know what's, you know, I want to make sure that I'm sending her only JPEGs. So I, what I would normally have to do is open up each one of these guys and export it out and save it as a JPEG, um, which can be a little tedious. You can see there's a whole bunch of files here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, Open Interpreter to um, basically convert all these guys to JPEGs, zip them up, and email them to my sister. All right. Simple scenario, but several steps that we can kind of package up. And on top of it, I'm going to try to lump all this together in one prompt. You could do it all individually. Do this, you know, uh, convert files, zip them up, email them. But I'm going to try to, like, do everything at once to show how it remembers what it needs to do, understands the final objective, figures out a plan, and executes things along the way. So, fingers crossed. Um, now, I have noticed in the past that uh, file extensions being uppercase and lowercase could cause some issues. So, what I want to do, I could, I could say, you know, process all the uppercase ones and the lowercase ones, but I'm going to just take it step by step and I'm going to tell it you know, make them all uppercase, just so we have some little consistency. Then what we're going to do is we're going to move all of these files, uh, these HEIC files, but just the ones from today, because I've got others down here somewhere, um, move them to a new directory. I'm going to save that directory on the desktop just for the time being. Um, I'm going to then convert all of the HEIC files to JPEGs, store them in yet another directory, called JPEGs within that same directory, that working directory, then zip the whole thing up, and then, you know what, I'm not going to email it uh, to my sister just so I don't expose her email address, but I can do that as well. But you'll see how the process goes. 
So let's bring it up. So first off, I should point out right now, Open Interpreter only runs on the command line. It's an install from GitHub. It's really straightforward. It runs partially locally, partially in the cloud. And um, I understand you can also run it locally if you need to. Oh, hold on a second, somebody's coming down. Sorry, was uh, just interrupted there. By, um, can't wait until AI can automate my kids. So uh, where was I? I think I was saying something about how Interpreter only runs from the command line. There's, a, there's an application. Let me just jump ahead here. There's an application that's coming out soon. Uh, but let's give it a try for right now and see what we can do. So I'm going to start it. Interpreter. You know what? I'm also going to add this flag, dash Y, which um, We'll make things run a little bit quicker. It's a little bit more smooth. Something I don't typically do when I'm when I'm running this. But um, what happens with Interpreter is you say, you know, do this thing, and it will say, okay, here's our plan. Here's some code. Do you want me to run this code? And you say yes, and it does it. Uh, adding this flag dash y will just automatically say yes. I, like I say, I don't normally do this because I want to see the code before it actually goes and executes it. Because a lot of times there's tweaks that I would like to make. Um, but um, in this case, I think that the what we're going to do is simple enough, and because it's just a video, it's going to screen through all the steps. And I want it to just run really quickly. I think I'm. I think it, I think we're safe to run it this way. So let's do it this way. Okay. So now it's starting. Um, one thing I'll say also is that you need API keys to be able to access either OpenAI or Meta, you know, for, for Llama 2, depending on what kind of language model that you're using uh, with this. Uh, I have things stored as environment variables so that it just sucks it in um, automatically. Normally it would ask you to like add your keys and, and things like that here. But um, again, uh, we want to keep this as simple as possible. So what do we want to do? Let me let's let me just say specifically what we want to do here. Okay. So first and foremost, we want to take all of these files out. Uh, no, actually, first and foremost, I want to uppercase these guys, these lowercase ones. Then I want to take all of the HEIC files from today, move them into a new folder on the desktop, um, add a new folder to that, uh, and then throw all of the converted. HEIC files uh, to JPEGs, throw the JPEGs into that new directory and zip the whole thing up. Okay, so I'm going to try to cram this all into a single prompt. Can you make all .hgic files in? Uh, how do I want to do this? Up a directory, down a directory. Let's copy this file path. Um, can you make all the HEIC files in downloads? Uh, HEIC files, so uppercase the extension files. Then move all HEIC files from today let's yeah from today in the download folder to uh the it's hard word to spell Download to a new directory. Copy this file path. Let's call this new directory. So I'm moving all the files, all the image files to dad's bills. Then convert all .hgic files in dad's 
fields to .jpg files and save in a new folder. I'm deliberately going back and forth from directory to folder just to make sure, just to see if it'll uh, kind of follow the logic here. Called gpgs, and I'm also not giving it the full file path, so see if it puts it in dad's bills. And I'll walk through this whole prompt again uh, to make sure that we got it all straight. Um, finally, zip the jpgs folder up and call it dad's bills.zip. And I won't go so far as to email it to my sister again, just so I don't expose anything. But um, you could tack this on as well. See what uh, see what happens with that. But um, okay, can you make all H E I C files in downloads H capitalized H A I C files, then move all capitalized H E I C files from today in the downloads folder? to a new directory called Dad's Bills on the desktop. Then convert all HEIC files in Dad's Bills to JPEG files save and save in a new folder called JPEGs. Finally, zip the JPEGs folder up and call it Dad's Bills .zip. Okay, so notice here, I'm also not putting any effort into making these sentences well-formed. Uh, they're a bit run on. Uh, I want this is where the AI is going to take over and try to deconstruct what I'm asking and it will put together a well-formed series of steps hopefully and then execute on those steps uh, so the AI is really only used to understand what I'm looking for and to create code but then like all the work that's being done is all code it's not technically AI at that point uh, but let's we'll see how it goes actually before I hit go. Let's open up some folders so we can watch it in real time. Uh, do, 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 what do I want to do here? Um, put this over here. So we've got the downloads folder. Yeah, and we got the desktop folder. Okay, so we'll see if we can watch things get created and moved and stuff. Where can I arrange things here? Okay. Looks good. Looks good. Looks good. <laughs> Go. It's not good. Get out of the way. Okay, sure, I can help with that. Here's the plan. Change the extension of all the lowercase files to uppercase. Good. Move all the uppercase HIIC files from today in the downloads folder to a new directory called Dad's Bills. Convert all files in Dad's Bills to JPEG. Save them in a new called JPEG. Zip it up. Yep, let's do it. Okay, so it's moving to the directory. It's changed the code. Okay, so oh, I was in the way. Yeah, it looks like it did it. Okay, that looks good. And it looks like it moved. Oh, I'm too slow. <laughs> it moved everything over. Okay, and up everything's uppercase. That's good. Now what's it doing? Um, next, we'll convert the HI file to JPEGs. So it's doing that. That must mean that the JPEGs folder was created, and it was. And there's all of our JPEGs. Nice. Now it's zipping things up. It should be here somewhere. Here it is. The code is in dadbuild.zip. It's there. And we'll unzip it just to see if it got the files. JPEGs 2. Oh, okay, fair enough. Um, okay. And there's my files. JPEGs all zipped up. Let's move that to the trash. And this is the guy that I will email to my sister. Now, if I wanted to, I could have, of course, 
included that in my prompt, um, wherever that was. Yikes, wait, so look at all this stuff that it did for me. <laughs> yeah, Zooks. Um, yeah, so I could have added in here. And then finally, email dadsbills.zip to so and so, funky sister at dork.com. So, anyways, hope you see what this can do. Um, this um, also has, like, uh, as I said, the ability to sort of access the internet as well. So, you know, if you wanted to upload it to a Google Drive or, you know, pull something down, read a website and incorporate it into other things, you can do that very easily. Um, really, just the sky's the limit on, you know, what you want to be able to do with your files or things on the, on the internet here using AI and code that you don't have to write, right? So, um, hope you enjoyed that little uh, demonstration and uh, uh, have a good morning.